everybody, it is me, Jennifer Bunny, and today I'm going to be teaching you how to clean a crested gecko or a leopard gecko or any type of gecko tank on like once a week is a good time. So let's get into it. First thing you're going to have to do is empty out all the stuff that was in the tank. So I'll go do that. I have most of the stuff empty. Now, to empty out the mulch, you're going to take it outside and dump it in a, like a garbage or a spot where you could put some mulch. You should always have mulch or sand or whatever the gecko needs at the bottom of the tank. Okay, now that you have dumped the gecko tank, you're going to want to clean the walls. So it should be completely empty. You're going to get a paper towel and some water from your spray can you used to mist them and wash the walls. And boom, now their tank is clean. Now that your lizard's tank is really clean and really nice on the edges, make sure there's no bad uh, dirt or whatever bad stuff is in there. You are going to put their mulch or heater in. I personally don't put my lizard's heater in anymore because it's quite hot in this house. And so I'm not going to put the heater in. So instead I'm going to put the soil. Then you're going to spread the soil out evenly. Make sure that you can't see the ground and it's all very even and nice. Oh. So next thing you're going to do is you're going to put stuff that you need to do on the walls. So for me, I have this little uh, climbing thing. She loves to climb all over it. So you're going to put that on the wall. Now, if something has a suction cup on it, you might have to spray, put some water on it to make it sit easier. And everything should stick nice and fine. Next, I do this thing. I have these vines. Since this soil is so hard for her to dig in, she likes to hide in the vines. So I just throw the vines in there for the extra flooring, I guess. You're going to put your her toys in. So she has this barrel that she loves to hide in. We'll put that right there. And then she has this log. You want to make sure that her toys are very clean and that there's no, nothing dirty on them. Uh, for this toy right here, I just put it in some water because there was a lot of dirt and stuff on it. So now she has a very nice and clean setup so far. Okay, don't mind her. She's kind of moving around here. You could watch her while I talk. So next I have our, her hammock and her food tray as well as some leaves. Now she's going to put in my food. My next item I have for her here is her food tray that she has her food in. So I'm gonna clean that out. Now that her food tray is in, I'm going to stick it on the wall. Now I used to have a problem with this 
where I could never stick it on the wall because it would always fall and I was always scared if she was under there it would fall on her. So a really helpful tip, you really have to do this, is spray the suction cups or else they really do not stick. Next, I have her hammock and her leaves. Now, I would recommend once a month you soak all the items in water so that all the all the dirt and the bad stuff of it gets out. So, I last month, uh, last week or two weeks ago, or um, the start of this month, I soaked it off so everything was clean. And then you should be done with cleaning her tank. As you see, I fixed everything up here and tried cleaning it off. So this is what her tank looks like in all. And that is it. I hope you learned something from this if you have a crested gecko. And bye.